Grayson called me over to show me his drawing. What did you draw, Gray? PJ Masks. PJ Masks? Who's who? Catboy, Owl, and Gecko. Catboy, Owl, and Gecko. Which one is blue? Catboy. Catboy. Which one is green? Gecko. Gecko. And which one is pink? Owl. Owl. Do you love PJ Masks? Yeah. Now I'm going to cut my pictures out. Okay. Gray loves drawing PJ Masks. They have it on Netflix, and so he watches it on my iPad, and he loves PJ Masks, huh? We're hoping Santa will bring him some PJ Masks toys. But we have Catboy. Because we only have Catboy and Romeo, right? But we don't have the other characters. I had to show that cute clip because Gray is so stinking cute. He loves drawing the characters. As you can see, he does not care to take time to color. He just kind of scribbles it but it's super cute, his creativity. So it's quiet time right now. I've got the laundry going. Sorry if you can hear that in the background. Um, Porter's taking a nap. Grayson's having quiet time. I pulled out the camera because you guys, I'm a little sad today. I'm just a little sad. Gray brought home in his backpack this. Um, and this is registration for next year for preschool. So there's two reasons that I'm sad about this document. One is this is the first time in two years that I will not be registering Grayson for preschool because next year he goes to kindergarten. And so I have to register him for kindergarten and that will happen in January. So he won't go to preschool anymore. And the other sad reason is I'm going to be registering Porter for preschool next year. Porter's in kind of a funky situation. His birthday, as you all know, or maybe you don't know, is September 14th. The cutoff for preschool is at least at this preschool, September 30th. And I think the local schools do September 30th as well. I know some schools do it like end of August, but this school and um, the regular schools do the end of September. So Porter makes the cutoff by like 16 days. So I'm going to sign him up and I'm gonna have him do it. I think it would be good for him. The socialization, he's a COVID baby. He needs to socialize, and then of course the academics are important as well. But I think with Porter's situation, I've been going back and forth, and of course like we'll watch and see how he does this upcoming year. But I'm leaning towards having him do three years of preschool instead of two years of preschool. Like Grayson's only going to do two years of preschool because he has an April birthday. But with Porter being like right at the cutoff, I just feel like he'll want an extra year of preschool. I was actually going like back and forth about it because I actually started off thinking I wanted to just push him ahead and he would just be the youngest kid in his class. That was me. I was always one of the youngest kids in my class. Anthony was one of the oldest kids in his class because he has an October birthday. I have a June birthday. But one thing that really st stood out to me and made me reconsider my decision was um, the fact that when he starts college, which I know is forever away, but when he starts college, if I only have him do two years of preschool and he's the youngest in the class, then he will be celebrating his 18th birthday in college, like away from me. Like he will start college as a minor, like not even an adult. And that kind of made me pause like, I don't think I want that. So I think what I'll do is I'll just have him do three years of preschool. That way, his 18th birthday, he'll just spend it on his senior year. He'll just always be the older, the old, one of the oldest kids in class. You know, they say that um, boys take a little longer. I don't know his smarts um, compared to Grayson. Obviously, Grayson is very gifted in his learning um, and Porter might be different and that's totally okay. Um, but I know some parents hold their kids back um, summer birthdays all the way up to May. Some April birthdays even get held back. So I know holding him back as a September birthday is not like crazy. Um, but anyway, so I think that's what I'm going to do is three years of preschool for Porter. So anyway, I'm going to sign him up for preschool. He is going to do just two days a week, just like Grayson did last year, the turtle class. Um, and then he'll do a three day a week class next, like the year after that. And then he'll be in the four day a week class that Grayson is in this year. So that's my plan. 
So anyway, they're starting registration. It is crazy how early they do registration this year. Um, because we are alumni of the preschool, we get like first dibs on sign up, which is nice. And so they're doing theirs here in December, which is like crazy. Um, I think the kindergarten doesn't start until January. I think that's when they do their registration, but man, they just do it so early. But I know if I don't get on this, it's going to be filled because they, this preschool books up really any preschool in the Columbus area really books up because there's so many people that live here and not a lot of good preschools. And so you really have to be on it if you want your kid to be in preschool. Otherwise you're going to be on a wait list. So I'm going to register him and sign him up. Um, I'm a little sad about it. I don't know how he's going to do. I've been talking to him this whole year about, you know, you're going to go to preschool next year. It's going to be fun. You're going to love it. And he's slowly warming up to the idea. At the beginning of the year, he was like, back in like August, he was like, no, I don't go to preschool. Now, sometimes he says no and sometimes he says yes, so it's a little better. I have basically all the paperwork. The only thing I need to do before he starts preschool is I need to potty train him because this preschool does not take kids who are not potty trained. So that is on my to-do list. I plan on doing that this summer. I'm trying to wait until like as close as I can to his third birthday because that's what worked with Grayson. He potty trained, I started him like February and then he turned three in April. So with Porter, I think if I start him in like June or July and hopefully he'll like see Grayson doing it and just like hopefully it won't be as hard as Grayson but they say boys are really hard to potty train. So we'll see. So anyway, that is on my big to-do list. They will not accept him if he is not potty trained. So I have a deadline. I need to get it done by September of next year. So oh, over half a year to go. So I've got time, but it is a little stressful. Um, I felt that stress with Grayson too. Like you need to get this kid potty trained. So Anyway, yeah, I'm super excited about that. It is November 30th, so tomorrow is December 1st. Tomorrow starts all the fun December things. I will, of course, pull out my camera tomorrow because our elf is gonna come from the North Pole and visit us. The boys are super excited about that. Well, Grayson is because he remembers him. Porter is like, I don't know what's going on. Um, we've got all of our Christmas decorations up, which is super exciting. We've got advent calendars that we're going to open each day. My mom spoils my kids, and so she got each of them their own advent calendar. One is a Play-Doh advent calendar, which is like Porter's favorite. Gray loves it too. And then also a book advent calendar, where each day you get another book, which is like totally Grayson's Alley. So both they're gonna love and then of course we have like our countdown calendar and our days until christmas candy cane so lots of things going on tomorrow so i will for sure um pull out the camera hey guys so it's later in the day obviously i changed into my jammies my comfy clothes the boys are asleep and in bed um i wanted to share these absolutely adorable pictures i got of the boys i put them in their matching holiday pajamas that my mom got them and put them in front of the tree and anthony helped me a little we got these cute pictures so i hope you enjoy them they are both absolutely loving our christmas tree gray turns all the lights off in our whole house and then just turns on the christmas tree lights so that it can shine um, and he loves it he's so into christmas it's so cute his age anyway um, Anthony's out with friends, but I just wanted to show you my little setup. So tomorrow is December 1st, and so that starts all the holiday countdown stuff. Um, most importantly, the elf, the elf on the shelf. I know some people, their elves come like in November or something, but no, I can only handle it for a couple weeks. So we do December 1st in our household. So the elf is going to come and so I have a little setup and I'll show you guys. So here is our little elf setup. I have our elf, most important. I have the book. I know Gray's gonna love reading the book and he doesn't really remember like what the elf is all about. So that'll help. I don't think Porter will really care. Um, and then I printed off a little letter from the elf. Um, basically just saying like the rules and what he does. Side note, so I was trying to decide what I wanted to do with our elves name. So last year was like our first 
year of Elf on the Shelf. And we came up with a name for the elf. And I could not for the life of me remember what the elf's name was. Like, could not remember. I asked Grayson if he could remember. He didn't remember either. I actually had to go back on YouTube and watch my like vlog from December last year and see that we ended up naming the elf Mistletoe. So I'm just like, well, if Gray doesn't remember and isn't like married to the name, then I'll just have him come up with a new name. We'll just do a new name every year till he, you know, is like, oh, I can't wait for so-and-so to come back. And then I'll be like, okay, we're sticking with that name. So um, I printed off a letter. It was like for free online. Somebody else did it, not me. And we're going to just we're just gonna come up with a name ourselves tomorrow. So stay tuned to see what they end up picking because it, it'll be interesting. Okay, but back to my little setup. Um, in addition to all this, I have two advent calendars. I don't remember if I talked about this or not. My mom got the boys two advent calendars, a Play-Doh one and then a book one. Um, so I'm just setting that up because that's gonna start tomorrow. So um, yeah, this is my little setup. Um, the boys will come down and see, and I'm excited. So, of course, I'll vlog tomorrow. I'll let you know what the boys think. I'm sure Grayson will see it first, um, and then Porter. Uh, they're both at such fun ages, so it'll be sweet to get to see them, like, experience all the magic, and yeah, it'll be fun. So, anyway, I'm going to close out this vlog. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow, I guess. Bye!